The memories I have of this place flicker like movies on its one silver screen. As I stand here now trying to recall all the times I've had and all the films I've seen. My memory's gone into rewind, not fast forward, play or pause. As I remember coming to see such classics as The Towering Inferno, Grease and Jaws. I remember queuing down the seafront as a kid, early on a Saturday morning. Waiting there expectantly, tired, wiping sleep out of my eyes and yawning. But nothing could deter me from my Saturday pilgrimage to the shrine. To Hollywood on Redka's windswept front. Even though the sea's northeast winds send tingles down my spine. It was Hollywood's embassy here in Redcar, and its ambassadors were the movie stars. We'd probably never heard of our little town or cared as they drove around cans and flashy cars. But I didn't care, because there was magic in an old lady in a ticket booth, and in another that sold you sweets and pop. And as the usherette guided you to your seat by torchlight, I didn't want the cinematic sorcery to stop. I used to watch the projectionist up above project this beam of golden light down onto this silver screen as he played adverts for local businesses and finally one for Pearl and Dean. It used to be a theatre here upon our shore. It was where the famous Larry Grayson found his catchphrase. Here, shut that door. It was used as a backdrop for the movie Atonement. But we didn't see Vanessa Redgrave or Kira Knightley. I suppose for these two glamorous movie stars, our, our little flea pit was too unsightly. But it was here that I became Walt Disney's mate and fell in love with the Magnificent Seven. And when I got into the X-rated Saturday Night Fever when I was just 14, I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. It was here I listened to The Exorcist. I couldn't watch it, I was too afraid. But I remember the usherette selling ice creams in the interval and they were always lions made. There was a musty old smell of crimson vela chairs. The place was always full of smoke. And one time at the end of a movie, everyone stood up for the national anthem. I swear, honest, no joke. The toilets were subterranean. They were below the level of the sea. And when you entered this dank, dusty place, could smell the sand and damp and pee. But to all this place was uncomfortable. And to all it wasn't the Ritz. But to everyone in this town my age we have our memories and we love this place to bits. To me this place was full of magic. To me this place was full of light. To me its ending now feels tragic. Another old building in our town lost without a fight. It was the Regent Picture House in Redcar. Hollywood's embassy in our town. And how it breaks my heart, but... But not my memories. To see our council knock it down. Thank you.